Today, I'll be covering Stalky's new purchase order extension for Shopify POS. With this new extension, staff can now quickly and efficiently receive purchase orders right at the POS app. Now let's dive right in. We're going to start with the Stalky purchase order. This order has been sent. It's been, it's now in receiving status. And I just wanted to call out some of the details that you can expect to see at the POS. This view here is great for uh, staff at HQ or at the warehouse placing the order. There's a lot of information in here. Um, that staff can add in terms of columns and, and information to track for the purchase order, which will appear here. However, the whole experience is simplified at the POS with the sole focus of receiving that purchase order quickly in the POS. And so something to call out, you will see the SKU number, the barcode, as well as the vendor within the new extension. And then obviously the status to be able to receive against uh, the quantity that you've ordered. Something else to call out here, is the expected date. So this date can be manually set per purchase order, or it can be configured for your vendor um, for the lead time, expected lead time. And this field will appear in the POS app. The rest of the fields will only be tracked and seen in the stocky dashboard here. It, it will not appear in the POS app. So now that we've covered that, one more thing, if your purchase order is archived, it will not appear on the list of purchase orders to be received within the POS app. Now that we've covered that, let's go into the POS app to see the experience. So in the POS app, now you have this new tile. This is the extension here. As you can see, it's from Stocky. But now I can tap into the tile and very quickly, I see the simplified view of the orders that are pending receiving. You can also see the, the status of the order as well as the variance up front. Um, and you can tap into an order and start your receiving. As you can see, very intuitive. At the top, there is the expected date that I mentioned, August 25th, 2024. That's really great for staff to reference if they're talking to a customer and um, they can give that expectation that stock is coming. It's on, it's, it's on the way in this purchase order and it'll arrive this date. Um, you can also see the individual items with their receiving status, zero to 15, zero to five. And you have the option to scan the items as well to receive. If we tap into an item, you can see you have the SKU and the barcode at the top here to reference, and you have two options. You can accept all the 15 or a partial amount, or you can reject some of those items if they're damaged or for whatever reason they were not in the purchase order that was delivered at the store. In here, if I add more than the amount that's in the purchase order, you will get a flag at the top saying it's exceeding the expected amount, but you can still receive extra and adjust the inventory if, need, if needed. Now, um, I'm just gonna accept all for this item. And before it adjusts the inventory, it will tell you it's being reviewed until you tap on receive the 15 items. Once I tap on receive 15 items, you get another warning saying this can't be undone. You're about to adjust the inventory. Once staff confirm, then the status changes and it's in green now. I can click in here to receive the rest of the items as well or go into the individual item and reject partially as well. Once the whole order has been received, as you can see, the list goes down here and now we can see it under my received orders. If we go into a purchase order that's been partially received and some items are not matching or some were rejected, you will see them flagged in yellow. So you can see here 15 were rejected. Um, you can also see a little bit more information about the product as well as type and vendor in this view. Um, and also if you went over the amount, it will also flag it in yellow. And these status are a little bit different in the Shopify admin, uh, but as you can see, it's this extension is meant to be quick and efficient for staff to receive inventory at the stores. And that's it, that's the purchase orders extension for Shopify POS.